Good morning. Praise the Lord. Today, July 4th, we'll talk about how to keep our purity. How do you keep? Uh, Psalm 139, 23, 24 says, Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. David asked God to search for sin and point it out even to the level of testing his thoughts. This is exploratory surgery for sin. When God shows us, we can repent and be forgiven. We should make this our daily prayer to keep ourselves pure. Since God is pleased with purity, it should be a mark of our Christian walk to be known as people with clean hands and a pure heart. We'll see some ways how, of how to keep our purity, which is very important for every Christian. First is, we need to realize that a pure life arises from a pure relationship with God. The Spirit of the Living God is ultimately the one who searches our hearts and keeps the purity in our lives. We should develop a disgust for sin. We should hate sin. Sin must not simply upset you, but it must sicken you. Revelation 3.16 tells us that God was sick with the Laodicean church because it was lukewarm. Sinless perfection is not possible while we live on earth, but being casual about sin is not acceptable. When we try not to sin, over a period of time, we get into that habit of uh, listening to the voice of the Holy Spirit and avoid sinning. When we ask Him, He'll help us definitely. Then we should keep our accounts with God very short. Romans 4, 14, 10 and 12 tells us, We shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ, so then each of us shall give an account of himself of God to God. In order to be ready for that day, it would be better for us to give an account on a daily basis and thus shorten our account. We need to ask for forgiveness every day for the sins that we committed on that particular day. Don't ruin your pur purity of life by accumulated dirt. Take care of it today. Then another point is submit to the Holy Spirit's reprogramming. Once we are cleansed with the blood of Jesus and accept Christ as our Savior, the Holy Spirit starts dwelling in us. When we are born again, we become a new creature in Jesus Christ. Before accepting Christ, we were under the bondage of Satan and used to be led by him. Now that we no longer are under his bondage, we are under the umbrella of Jesus Christ and he is our boss. He'll erase what all trash that was accumulated before and starts reprogramming us with his ideas and plans. Paul in Colossians 3 says, put off the old self and put on the new. Becoming pure and maintaining it is not easy, but when we commit ourselves into the Lord's hands, the Holy Spirit will help us to maintain purity. This is a worthy goal for every Christian. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for teaching us how to keep our purity until we meet you. Lord, please help us. Help us, Lord. In Jesus' precious name I ask. Amen. God bless you.